Welcome back everybody. Today I'm going to be showing you guys, as you probably saw by the title, how to install a quick release on your SC300 forearm sore problem. Uh, sore? Yeah, sore. And today I'm going to be putting on the Rapifix 2, or, or the Works Bell Rapifix 2. So I'm, I'm sure that this installation tutorial slash like guide will correlate to NRG Hub, this Works Bell Hub obviously, the other Works Bell Hub which is the Rapifix 1. I have it on the car, I'm just going to be explaining mainly and then I'm going to take it off a little bit and show you the wiring parts. I already have the hub on the car because that came in a while ago and you can watch, I have a previous video on that, I'll link it right here above on that. Alright, so here we have the quick release currently, you can't really see it but I'll show it in a second. But this is it on the car. And unlike most people, I got the horn. That was loud. Functioning. Just because I wanted to be rather have it safe and rather have it like fully complete, have the kit complete. So let's take it off. I don't know if I'm gonna be blocking. Take it off. That is this part is the hub. And then this is part of the quick release. And then this is the actual wheel. with the works bell release on it. And I'm not gonna take this off to show you guys. This is where the horn wires are. The horn connects from those two pins and it goes in here. And the actual horn button has a power in the ground that wires are connected to. And when you put it back on, it links with those two pins right there. But I will be taking this off to show you guys how I wired this, which is pretty simple. But it's kind of it was kind of confusing with the. Well, I'll get into explaining it. So let's go. All right. So I got the wheel off, just taken off, like quick release, and then I have the first part of the actual quick release off, just to show you guys. So this right here is called a ground ring, and this will come with it and. It's kind of in the instructions, because the instructions are just pictures. And the rest is in Japanese. So there's one here that, as you can see, has the ground connected to it. And then I have my power right here going to the actual power from the car. And that's hooked up and secured. And this right here is an airbag ground that I have the blue wire that I don't need because I don't have the airbag in right here. But I'm sure it wouldn't matter if you had it hooked up, but there's nowhere I really could have hooked it up because this is the ground. And so that's the first ground ring. And inside here, get it to focus. That right there is the second ground ring. And from this part where these pins are on the left, two wires come out similar to these two wires and you hook the ground one up to the ground ring and you hook the power one to the horn. And then when you press the button, the horn works. So I'm gonna go ahead and set up the tripod over there and show how I'm putting this back on. Before you do this, you'd wanna take your normal wheel off, which the, I have that process in my first video on installing the hub. And once you get to this part right here where just the hub's on, you wanna get this wired up and this, the actual quick release, came with these six bolts. On the hub, there's, you'll see there's 12 bolts and you just have to basically line it up with the six that line up with yours. And you wanna make sure your wheel is straight before doing this. And you wanna make sure this is lined up correctly because if these, um, prongs are lined up correctly, your wheel will be off. So you want to make sure that this is straight up and down, or whichever way you want to make it. And then you want to make sure that this is installed straight up and down. Alright, got those in, started at least, and then we bust out this Allen key here, which came with the I believe this came with my steering wheel, but it's the same size. This might have came with the hub. But it came with one of the parts I got. I think the steering wheel, maybe the hub. And it fits good. So. And 
And while I'm doing this, I'm trying my best to go in a star pattern so that this goes down flat. And we'll definitely tighten them fully up in the star pattern. So I've got these all like down. I'm gonna flip the Allen keys sideways and then just get them tight. So there we basically have it guys, basically pretty much part two to the work spell hub and quick release installation. I hope you guys enjoyed as usual. Make sure to like and subscribe down below. Comment if you got any questions. And keep being easy.